Hi, and welcome to Divine Destiny with Debbie. Today we're reading for December 16th, 17th, and 18th, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Now, if you are a new watcher or if you want to cross-watch and you don't want to listen to the introduction, which I hope you'll do at least one time, then down there should be a timestamp where you are able to bypass this. This will be tagged on to all of the videos. But let me tell you what I'm going to be doing today. Today we're going to be doing the weekend. So when we do the weekend, I use my Radley Valentine deck, my Angel Tarot cards. I use John Holland's Psychic Tarot and Oracle cards. I also pull one from my Angels of Abundance, Doreen and Grant Virtue. I do pull one from my Emily Anderson Crystal deck. Now, over the weekend, well, Sunday and Monday, I did do some card reviews. This is Moonology. These are Oracle cards. They're 44-card deck. I'm going to pull one. Now, I'm not going to tell you that I'm going to say do this all the time. Um, I have things I want. I kind of have an idea what I'm going to do with these extra cards. But for right now, I'm going to pull one. Now, this is the overview. This is the introduction. And when we're doing the introduction, we're going to use my Weight Rider or Rider Weight uh, traditional tarot, and we're going to use the Good Tarot by Colette Baron Reed. Now, I have prayed, meditated, and infused all the decks with Reiki energy. But remember, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate. Take what you like, leave the rest. I'm an intuitive channeler. I open myself to God, Spirit, Holy Spirit, uh, Source, and just let whatever it is that comes, come. Okay? Before we do that, of course, I'm going to tell you what's going on in the, in the heavens as far as what I can tell. On the 17th of December, Mercury, 15 degrees in Capricorn, will trine with Uranus retrograde 15 degrees in Taurus. Uranus is in Taurus. Both of these are, are Earth energies. They are stability energies. They are home, um, work, job, career energies. And Mercury is communication. Um, it's also electronic energy. Now, we're about to, on the, when is it going to be, if I can see this, the 29th, Mercury, the 29th of December, Mercury goes retrograde in Capricorn, okay, until January 18th. So we are in what is called the shadow of retrograde, the shadow of Mercury going retrograde. So it's starting to slow up a little bit. It's getting that retrograde energy, and, you know, so it's going to appear to, you know, to flip and go the other way. So whenever Mercury, and this is, I'm going to try not to say this too many times, um, in the next videos, whenever Mercury goes retrograde, there's a lot of um, interesting communications that happen, interesting electronic issues that happen, okay? So I would say on the 17th, give or take a couple of days, that we could hear something, there could be some interesting news for us about our home front, you know, the Capricorn and Taurus energies, job, career type of thing too. Okay, now I do also find that when it does go retrograde, and that would include the shadow, it's like a two-week before and after um, period, I do find that there's a lot of karmic energy that gets, I don't know, gets resolved if you want to say that, okay? And people from your past or situations from your past tend to revisit, okay? So that's on the 17th. The 20th, next week itself, we're going to be changing into, uh, well, Jupiter will be re-entering Aries. Um, we have some go things going on with Mercury again um, with that. Oh, no, I'm sorry. That's the 17th. Jupiter re-enters Aries on the 20th. The 21st is winter solstice, which is considered a, um, a mystical and spiritual day also. There's other things going on the 22nd. The 23rd, Venus will trine with Uranus. And on the, I'm sorry, that's the 22nd. And on the 23rd, we have the new moon. Now, also on the 23rd, I don't really talk too much about it. Chiron will go direct. Chiron is that wounded warrior. So why don't we see what we've got going on right now with, you know, whatever's going on in the world, okay? So, you know, again, you know, Holy Spirit, God, Divine, Source, 
what do you want to tell our audience? What do you want to tell our audience um, what's going on? And we are still at 26,000 subscribers. Like I, I've told you, I, I told the, um, the product review people, the ones that were watching that, that we have hit 26,000 subscribers. So thank you all. I, it just like tickles me so much. Um, usually when we've gotten here, and I say we, you know, God source energy here, um, you know, because I'm a, I, I, I just have this little, these two little cameras. I've got, I'm doing this in my bedroom, so it's, you know, this isn't a big production. It's not very stylized. I know that. Usually, when we hit a milestone like this, it, it goes to twenty six thousand, then it goes to twenty five ninety nine. Um, then it goes to 6,002, 6,001, 6, you know, 2599. But we've been pretty consistently at that 26,000. So, again, this is what happens when you subscribe. You click on the bell and you do all those things that, oh, that we want, you know, that is so important to do. Okay, so we've got these, we've got four cards that have come up. And they literally are up. So now we have our major arcana. So we have a three, and three has the celebratory creative energy. It's also the power of three. It is, you know, you get a couple of friends with you. There is strength in numbers. We have the empress. She is, you know, she is eternally pregnant. She is eternally ready to create, and she wants to provide. She wants to give. Now, whenever I see this with Mercury retrograde, I do feel like she wants to, you know, again, I feel like she has a Holy Spirit, a feminine divine energy. I feel like she wants to make right t things that have been made wrong, okay? Things that have, people, you know, people that have made wrong choices have opportunities to make right choices. But the key word is choices, okay? She can say, she can say, okay, let's get, you know, here's a choice, there's a choice, a lot of creative choices. But again, it all depends on where and what we want to choose. So it's always our choice. You know, somebody may come into your life that is um, a not, a po not positive for you, um, and you have the choice to say thank you, but please go away, um, or, but you choose to bring them back into your life. Remember, just because they come into your life doesn't mean you're supposed to bring them in. However, conversely, she might bring someone into your life that you want to push away, and the empress is kind of like, eh, there might be some lessons to learn still. So creativity, major arcana, big energy here. Okay, now we have the nine of rods. So we have, remember, numbers have meanings. Nine is, let's wrap it up. You've got everything you want. Nine comes before the big transition energy. It's like, okay, you're there. You're finally there. Rod energy is our fire energy. It is our Leo, Sagittarius. It's our Aries. Remember, Jupiter is about to go into Aries. I think I said on the 20th. That's big. A lot of the dreams and the hopes and the wishes that we have been going, you know, that we've been working with with, the, with Jupiter and Pisces, this is the chance to make fruition. Um, you know, so again, Sagittarius, Jupiter, Leo energy, fiery energy, warmth energy, Sometimes it can get a little bit too hot also. But this is about someone who, even though he's been through the battle, even though he's been knocked up and knocked, knocked around a few times, he is, you know, he is standing firm. He is not giving an inch. Now we go to the king of pentacles. Now, king, you know, all the court energy has a double and a dual energy, okay? King's underlying energy is our... Um, is our air energy. It is our sword energy. It's our intellect. It's our making plans. It's thinking things through. It can also be um, hearing news. It is Aquarius, it is Gemini, and it, it is Libra. And Aquarius and, and Gemini, do, they, they do have um, some strong planetary movement right now. And it's, you know, they're just kind of sitting there right now. Um, you know, Saturn in Aquarius is getting ready to move out of Aquarius, but not just yet. So there's some strength in that. So there, there could be this final push for that um, illusion versus uh, reality. And I'm sure you'll be, you'll be like, oh, good. Let's get that out of there just to stop Debbie from saying it. Pentacles now is our Earth energy. 
It is our Capricorn, it is our Taurus, it is our Virgo. Now remember what I just said, next week Capricorn and you know Capricorn season begins. Also we have the stuff with, you know, the moon, you know, what did I say? Um, you know, Capricorn and Taurus, Mercury, Capricorn, and, you know, and then I Taurus, what did I say with that one? Um, right around the, you know, the winter solstice. So again, earth energy, money, job, career. The King of Pentacles is successful. The King of Pentacles, um, you know, is somebody who has that Midas touch, somebody who can make something out of nothing. So, you know, the, you know, there is a sense to of stability with the King of Pentacles. The King of Pentacles does want to provide for his kingdom also. Um, sometimes the King of Pentacles can be someone like a professional, um, a lawyer, doctor, um, it could be a financial advisor also. But the King of uh, Pentacles is very confident in what he does. So here we go. And our last one is the eight. I always, when I do, I'm glad I have my glasses on. I see it as a seven all the time, and it's not. The eight of Pentacles, again, that earth energy. Um, you're ready. People are ready. People are prepared. There may be a little bit more to go. But for the most part, the preparation has been done, whatever that is to mean. So creativity, gifting, stand firm, don't give up your spot. Um, there is, you know, success. There is provision. You're ready. Don't, you know, you might need to do a little bit more, but, you know, it's just, it's just what it is. For the most part, you know, it, 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 for the most part, you're where you're supposed to be with this. Now, let's see what we've got going on. We will pull one card from the, collect, uh, the Good Tarot. That one's kind of popping out for me. Let's see what we've got here. This is the Four of Air. So we have a four. Four is stability. Leadership, organization, air again is that um, Aquarius, it is that um, Gemini and Libra energy. Uh, this has a let's wait it out, meditate, pray energy. This has wait, wait, wait. This is patience. This is just let things happen the way they need to happen. And um, it's just wait it out, wait, wait, wait. Sometimes this will say go on a vacation. So again, there's a lot of meditation with the Four of Air also. But the main message with the Four of Air is rest, wait it out. Now the one card with the one energy we did not speak about was cups. Cups is our water energy. It is fluid. It is spiritual. Um, it's emotional energy also. It is our Scorpio Pisces, and it is our Cancer energy too. So that's water, cups. We do not have any of the emotional energies here. Uh, we have the air energies, we have the fire energies, we have the money energies, and we have the divine energies here. So let us see what we will see. Take that time, please. Take that time, please, to do the like, share, subscribe, and click on the button, the bell button. Um, because that does help so much. And thank you again. Why don't we get started with our readings? Hello, my Tauruses, and how are you? Okay, so we're about to transition into Capricorn, which will really be very good for you. Uranus and Taurus. Uranus is going to go direct. What is it? Pretty soon, right? I mean, I don't know. I should probably take a look at that. But your Uranus will be going direct, which will make it going to revisit a lot of the past but at the same time it is moving forward again and again I did post something about Uranus and Taurus on my on my website too so just a little something on that one okay let's see what we've got going on so I what I'm saying is when there's a shift and there's a shift you know it's kind of getting into its uh you know stationary direct time right now so with that shifting things are shifting for you also, okay? So do not be alarmed with it. It is, it is just moving. And as things come to an end of a cycle, which it's kind of going into the end of the cycle, the planets do tend to want to um, make things, I don't know, not, you know, make things a little calmer maybe. Not necessarily better, but calmer than they were. So let's see what we've got going on 
for my Taurus is for this weekend. We are, you know, I'm talking too much into that future. Let's see what we've got going on for my Tauruses with this weekend here. So here we go. Higher power. What do you have for my Tauruses? One, two, and a three. Three cards face down. Here we are. Okay. First card is the four of water. Okay, my Taurus, this is a place that you do not necessarily like to be in. Um, it is that waiting time, that waiting time, that waiting time. It's like that in between. I don't, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm wanting action. I'm wanting movement and I have to wait. I have to still wait. So four has some stability, organization, and it also has some leadership. Water is our Cancer Pisces Scorpio energy. It's fluid. It's emotional. It's um, very spiritual energy. This is the Four of Cups. This is I'm waiting. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. But yet, while you're waiting, do not forget to do some action, to do some movement. You know, that was the kind of you know the thought that you know the thought with when when you're when you're um, doing what I do and I give you some thing to say okay this is coming into your life um, it doesn't mean you're supposed to stop living your life okay because what what we see what I see is just kind of the choices and the in the energies and how the energies are so if you stop if you stop moving within these energies you change the energies so something about that so you need to continue you need to continue your life you need to continue moving forward if you've been applying for jobs and it's not necessarily the time for that don't stop don't stop because what you apply for right now somebody could pick up in April and give you a call about it so again this is about living your life and not stop you know don't stop living okay here we go missing an opportunity discontentment or boredom open your eyes to the possibilities four of water your next card is the world card things are opening up for you you may feel like they're not but they definitely are opening up things are you know things are like there is a path there are paths that are out there for you we have the world the world is the end of the major arcana. The fool has learned his journey, has learned his lessons. He can now relax and just enjoy where he's at, or he can now move on to his next chapter where he shares his lessons. He but he's become a mature. He has been, he has matured. He has, but he still has not lost his hope. He has still not lost the love of his adventure either. So we have a two one. Two has choices this way that. One is a new beginning. You add it together, becomes a three. Creativity, celebration, the power of three. Archangel Michael, the warrior angel, the leader. I mean, the one that leads the, you know, the angels that are warriors. Okay? The defender. This is all about a good a job. A good job. A job well done. Contentment and gratitude. Content, joy, contentment, and gratitude. Wow. The path towards enlightenment. But I'm getting this kind of like, you know, you've been feeling like you've been in between. You still have to live your life. There is so much out there still waiting for you along your path. And yet the world is opening up. You have to get out. You have to make some movement. Okay? Okay, here we go. Next card is the Queen of Air. So this is, you have to think about things. You have to be logical, okay? How do you make a change if you don't make a change? If, you know, if you keep doing the same old thing over and over again, but you want a change, that's not going to happen. Queen's underlying energy is water. We talk about that. It's warm. Well, it can be warm. It can be cold. It can be bitterly cold, too. But it's emotional. It's very spiritual. Air is our Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. It's thought-provoking. It's intellectual. It's thinking things through. It could also be about a message coming. The Queen of Air stands above the emotion. She is. She's. She feels emotions. Do not ever think she doesn't. But she knows that she has to put them aside for a little bit of time. She has to go with her logic. But. The thing, too, for you, my Taurus, is, is you are an extremely psychic, um, you know, sign. And you, you know, you have a strong connection with the earth energy. So the queen of air sometimes makes you think too much in the logical side where you 
where you stop listening to that metaphysical side. So be be you know that's where you have to find a that's where you have to find a um, a balance. That's where you have to find a you know just kind of like okay I know this is logical this is the way I should go, but is it really, is it really? And I will tell you, listen to your heart, listen to your gut. Well, listen to your gut more than your heart. Your heart can lead you a little astray too, but um, if, it, if you're just not into it or if you're just not there, sometimes I have, I have taken, you know, in my career, I've taken jobs that on paper looked like they were wonderful, but I just knew inside that it wasn't going to be. And you know what? Should have listened to my gut. Anyway, Queen of Air is independent, experienced, realistic, and witty. Objective decision-making, clearing away all that no longer serves you, and we are in a waning mood, so that is a good thing to do. Seeing the humor in a situation, I do love that. I do love that the Queen of Air, you know, when they, they say, you know, seeing the humor, you know, have the ability to laugh at yourself, have a, the ability, not, not laugh horribly, but just kind of like, yeah, I did that, I did that. But we go back to this four of water, this in-between stage, this, you know, and, and, you know, and part of this for you, my Taurus, is, is I, I feel like you may stubbornly be holding on to this is what I'm doing. I, don't may, I may not like it, but I have achieved. So this is what I have worked for, and I don't want to move forward. Or I don't want to move on. So you might even just be stuck with your own energies here. But the world is opening up. There is more for you out there. And, you know, and this is balance, balancing logic with some of your emotions, balancing logic with your gut. Okay? So it's an interesting weekend. It's a, not a bad weekend. It's just, you know, kind of, I feel stuck. Then get out of the house. Get out of the house, my Tauruses. Okay? Live life. Let's see what we've got here. Let's see what we've got here. Taurus, 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 higher power. What do you want to say to our Tauruses? What do you want to say through these cards? Here we go. Use wisdom. Use wisdom. Okay, so we have a five. We have a change. This is the, you know, change could be positive, negative. This is that hierophant that I'm never too, real, I'm never too um, thrilled with because, um, you know, the hierophant wants rules, regulations, the, hi hi the hierophant wants to be very strict and wants to, you know, just kind of say, this is the way you need to go. This one is not a bad, this is not a bad interpretation of the hierophant. This tells you to use wisdom. This tells you to think about your um, outcome. Hold on. Phone was ringing. Sorry about this. So this tells you to just, you know, think a little bit more. Now, while the queen of air is logical and the queen of air is objective, this is also telling you to use your experiences. What has brought you to where you're at? However, look at your experiences the way they need to be looked at, okay? Sometimes, you know, sometimes it's like, you know, are you learning from your past? Are you learning from what you've gone through? Or are you angry at your past? So that's, again, it's, it is, while you can be objective, it is about using, you know, being, um, use your experiences, and, again, I like it, use your wisdom. Okay, let's see, Moonology. We're going to pull one from here. Let's see what we've got going on. Let's see what we've got going on. Okay, Moonology for my Tauruses. Not sure, I'm not going to use these every time, but not still sure what I'm going to do about them. I do like them. Here we are. Woo! This is interesting. Does this go back to this four of water? Oh. First quarter moon. We're, you know, we're entering that or we're in that. Your commitment is being tested. No, that's the waning moon. We're, I'm sorry, we're in the waning moon. It doesn't matter when, but your commitment is being tested. Is that what this is about? Let me know about that one, my Tauruses. That's interesting. Your commitment is being tested. Hmm. Okay, let's see what we have here. 
Angels of abundance. What else can you tell my Taurus? If your commitment is being tested, where is it being tested at? Now, is it commitment to your path? Is it, you know, whereas this four of water is like, you know, is it your commitment to those three cups? Or is it commitment to that fourth cup that's coming in? That's there for you. It's, oh, wow, it's interesting. Oh, I hate tests. I hate those types of tests. Okay, let me see what we've got here. Not reversed. Have courage to ask for and accept help. So let's see if I can read this. <laughs> Asking for help is a sign of strength, as is accepting it as it is offered to you. Very often when you ask God for help, prayers are answered through other people. Be sure to accept this assistance as well as give it to others as you are guided. Well, that's where wisdom would come in. I'm going to just kind of throw the hierophant away with this, but that's where wisdom comes in. All right. Interesting, interesting stuff for my Tauruses here. Because I love the world card. I love that things are opening up, but your, your commitment is being tested. Hmm. Okay, what crystal or energy now for my Tauruses. Let's see what we have for my Tauruses here. Okay, not reversed. Emerald. Unconditional love, beauty, recovery, healing past lives. That's an interesting one. It's all, That's a very interesting way to go. Okay, my Tauruses, interesting reading. Are you being tested? It sounds, you could be. Okay, take a moment, please, to do the like, share, subscribe, and clicking on the bell for notifications. It really helps. And we got to 26,000 because of doing that, so thank you. As always, though, my Tauruses, always know that you are loved. Stay shining and be blessed. Bye-bye.